Have you ever looked up at the stars and wondered, is anyone out there? The universe is unimaginably vast with billions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. So, what are the chances that Earth is the only cradle of life? Let's journey through the cosmos to uncover the mysteries of extraterrestrial life and the incredible story of how we came to be. The observable universe stretches over 93 billion light years across. There are at least 100 billion galaxies, each with billions of stars and even more planets. Statistically speaking, many of these planets lie in the Goldilocks zone, where conditions could allow for liquid water, a key ingredient for life as we know it. Yet, despite these staggering numbers, we haven't found definitive proof of alien life. Why? Could it be that life is rarer than we imagine? Here's a mind-blowing fact. You are made of stardust. The carbon in your cells, the calcium in your bones, the iron in your blood, all were forged in the fiery cores of stars that exploded billions of years ago. This connection between us and the cosmos isn't just poetic, it's scientific. Life, at its core, is a complex arrangement of simple elements. Hydrogen, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen. But how do atoms organize themselves into living organisms? It starts with chemistry. Over millions of years, simple molecules combine into complex organic compounds, eventually forming self-replicating structures. The first step toward life. Earth is a rare gem in the vastness of space. Why? Because it meets an extraordinary set of criteria for life. The habitable zone. Earth orbits at just the right distance from the sun, where it's neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water. A protective atmosphere. Our atmosphere shields us from harmful cosmic radiation while trapping enough heat to maintain a stable climate. A stabilizing moon. The moon's gravitational pull helps stabilize Earth's tilt, creating consistent seasons and tides that have been vital for life. Plate tectonics. This geological process recycles essential nutrients and regulates Earth's climate over eons. But it's not just the perfect conditions that made life possible. It's the unique path that led to the rise of human intelligence. One of the key moments in our evolutionary story came when our ancestors learned to harness fire. While most animals instinctively fear fire, early humans were not afraid to approach it, control it and use it for survival. But more than that, fire became a symbol of something deeper, our ability to think, adapt and innovate. The control of fire provided our ancestors with more energy and nutrients, which allowed the brain to grow larger and more complex. This was one of the many factors that set humans apart from other life forms, propelling us down the path to become the intelligent, conscious beings we are today. Life may not need conditions identical to Earth's, Scientists have discovered extremophiles, organisms that thrive in boiling hot springs, frozen tundras, and even toxic, acidic environments. This raises the question, could alien life be hiding in unexpected places? Take Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. Beneath its icy crust lies a liquid ocean, potentially warmed by geothermal activity. Or consider exoplanets like Kepler, 452b, which orbits a star similar to our Sun. The possibilities are endless. And yet, there's the Fermi paradox. If the universe is teeming with life, why haven't we made contact? Are we not listening the right way? Or is intelligent life incredibly rare? Possibly even unique to Earth? The rarity of life on Earth doesn't just make us curious about the universe. It makes us grateful. Every breath we take is a reminder of a perfect balance billions of years in the making. But what if we're asking the question, are we alone? Too soon. Maybe the universe is still in its early stages of life. Perhaps extraterrestrial life has not yet evolved into 
intelligent, technologically advanced beings. Or it's possible that other civilizations have risen and fallen, their advanced societies ending catastrophically due to events like asteroid impacts, supervolcanic eruptions, or other disasters that wipe out life before it can reach the stars. This perspective deepens our sense of responsibility to care for our planet, as we might be among the first to reach this level of sophistication in the entire universe. The question, are we alone in the universe, might not be answered in our lifetime, but every discovery brings us closer. So keep asking questions, stay curious, and never stop exploring. And if you're as fascinated by the cosmos as we are, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to Multiversal, and share your thoughts in the comments. Together, let's continue this journey to the stars.